Hello and welcome to Modern Home Systems Tech Tip for the Day. My name is Paul Hager and today I'm going to be going over Control Center, one of the new features of iOS 7. Uh, we look forward to bringing you these tech tips and we're going to be working on many more with the new iOS 7 operating system, uh, so be on the lookout. Welcome to the new iOS 7. As you can see, quite a bit has changed. Uh, for example, they have a nice clean interface welcoming you to your phone. No black bars on the top or the bottom here. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and slide to unlock and see the rest of iOS 7. As you can see, the applications, they welcome you uh, with a beautiful animation courtesy of Apple. And several of these apps, almost all of them, have changed around quite a bit. Uh, we're not going to get into the apps today, but we are going to get into uh, two things. Control Center is the main thing, and Notification Center just to show us how to access Control Center. Uh, so without further ado, here we go. To access Notification Center, as you used to in the past, you're actually going to click on this top area, or press your finger down in the black or the white top area of your phone, press down, and slide your finger downwards. And then you'll see your Notification Center drop. In Notification Center, you can see all your notifications, which hasn't really changed except for the look of it, but the function, the pull down from the top, that has changed. Now, we're going to go ahead and put our finger on this little kind of up arrow over here, this blue arrow, press down and slide upwards. And when we do that, Notification Center goes away. The only reason why I did that is to show you how Control Center works. Now Control Center is going to work very similar. We're actually going to press our finger in the white area or black area, depending on the color of your phone, on the bottom of the phone instead of the top, press down and slide upwards. And that is Control Center. As you can see, Control Center is very new and has quite a bit of information or uh, little features and buttons and toggles that you can turn on and off. The first one being airplane mode, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb, and lock your screen ratio. We also have brightness over here, uh, so you can scroll your brightness up or down, which by the way, I'm not in my car, so I might as well turn off Bluetooth and save battery. We can also access our music from right here, whatever song is playing at that time. We can turn the volume up or down, play the music, or go right to uh, our music app and also scroll forward and backwards on the song. Uh, we have AirDrop, which is a brand new feature to iOS 7. We'll be doing a demonstration on AirDrop later. And then we also have over here AirPlay. And AirPlay will allow you. I went ahead and pressed on it, sorry. <laughs> AirPlay will allow you to send information, audio or video uh, or photos to another device that has AirPlay. I'm going to hit done on that. And now the bottom row, last but not least, we have our built-in flashlight. Yes, no more having to uh, download or update any flashlight apps. We also have the next button over here is going to be our clock. Uh, and the clock is just basically takes you right into your timer. So that way, if you need to start your timer immediately, you can boom, start it and get going. We have a shortcut to calculator and another shortcut to camera. So wherever you are on your phone, if you want to access your camera, you can just click and poof, it opens up right away. Uh, one more time, we're going to click on this lower arrow instead of the other one, which is down here for notification center. We're going to click on this arrow here at the top and slide downwards and that'll make Control Center go away. And that's pretty much it for Control Center. One more time just to show you how to bring it up, you're going to place your arrow, excuse me, your finger in the lower portion of your phone, press down and swipe upwards. Control Center appears to make it go away. You're going to press on this arrow and pull downwards and that makes it go away. Beautiful new feature courtesy of Apple and we appreciate you uh, checking out our tech tip for the day. Hope you enjoyed it and be on the lookout for many more tech tips. I'm Paul Hager with Modern Home Systems and we do thank you for joining us. Take care.